Okay guys, the periodic table can tell us a lot of information, assuming you know how to read it properly. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to do it, give you a few examples, and if you like this video you can pop over and get the book, which will have loads and loads more examples in there for you. The periodic table can just loads and loads of useful bits of information. Now if we look at things going down, we have groups. And groups tell us the number of electrons in the outer shell. So over here we have group 1 and everything in this has one electron on the outer shell. And then we have group 2 and everything here has two electrons on the outer shell. Transition metals in the middle, we don't need to worry about those for the moment. Group 3, everything has three electrons on the outer shell. Group 4, everything has four electrons on the outer shell. 5, 5 electrons in the outer shell, 6, 6 electrons in the outer shell, 7, 7 electrons in the outer shell, and then right over the end we have the noble gases which have 8 or 0 electrons in the outer shell, depending on how you're thinking about it. And then going across we have periods. Now the periods tell us the number of shells. So here we have period one, everything on this has one electron on the outer shell. People often overlook this one because it's just got these two little things in the middle. Um, then we have period number two, which has two electron shells. Then we have period number three, which has three electron shells, and period number four, which has four electron shells. Now you can use this really, really simply and easy to work out how many shells something has and how many electrons it has in that shell. So if we look at boron as our example, it has two shells and it has three electrons on the outer shell. Because it is in the second period, that tells us it has two shells and it has in the third group three electrons on on its outer shell. Then if we look at neon over here we can see it is in the second period so it has two shells and it has eight electrons on its outer shell. The other thing we can use the periodic table to remember is how many electrons are in each shell. So period number one there are one two elements and the maximum number of electrons we can fit into one shell the first shell is two. Period number two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons. And the maximum number of electrons we can fit into the second shell is eight. Period number three, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons. And again, the number of electrons we can fit into the third period is eight. So the periodic table will give you loads and loads of information if you know how to read it properly. If you like this video for loads more questions like this, you can get my book, Maths is a Chemistry Bit for Science Students. It is available in book format, video format, or over in my classroom.